this looked a completely innocent message that I got from Roy Brown. Now it says, John, click this link. It says I'm friends on Facebook. So I thought, yeah, OK, I'll click on that. Well, this is what happens when you click on it, because I get lots of people sending me links to YouTubes and things. And I thought, oh, right, now let's play. It's a video of uh, Roy and his band. Click there. And it should take you off to YouTube to watch it, or it's going to watch it. Loading page, click here, congratulations. And this is what it does. It's a scam. Whatever you do, don't click this. Because if you do, you're going to get a virus put onto your computer. It's a scam for putting the virus on your computer. And you go back, you say, oh, OK, I want to play this. And let's see what happens if we do it again. No, you're being sent somewhere t totally fictitious. So don't do it. But this also puts a virus on your computer. And what it w did to me the first time that I clicked on this, it took me off to what looked like YouTube. And I thought, well, no, that can't, that can't be right. So we go back again. And you think, well, now let's play this video. I'm going to right click on it. We're going to copy the link address for starters. Now I'm going to click on it again and see where it takes us this time. See if it takes us to the same thing as a redirect. Yeah, and you're back to this one. This is a scam. It's to find out who, what, where you are. Don't do it whatsoever. Let's go back. Yeah, you can't get out of it. You click your back button. You can't get out of it, as you can see. So just don't even click on that link that I showed you. You might get this take you to a page that looks very, very similar to YouTube. And you think, all oh, right, I click on that. And then it comes up and tells you, can't play this video because you need to download an extension. Whatever you do, do not download that extension because that extension will find all your friends on your friends list and it will email them. It will cause problems for you and you haven't done a thing. Now, I know for a fact that Roy hasn't done sent this to me. Basically. I'll just close this window and we go back to here so you can see what we've done. It, oh, too far. <laughs> Hi, Roy. I can't play your video because it requires an add-on that makes my laptop run too slow. In the add-on, there is a snooping and advertising that gets put on everyone's computer or phone as a background app. Because that's what happens. It puts it on your computer as a background app. So if ever you get a message, that looks something like this. It's from one of your friends on Facebook. It's not them sending it, okay? I've had emails where, oh, don't go on his site. It'll, it'll do this. It'll corrupt your computer, can corrupt and do this and whatever. And the person that's being blamed for it is not the person sending it. This, as we go on to read, you'll see that, um, Come on, there you go. I gave it, I said, can you send me a link? Just like my link, you know, uh, and that's what it should look like to take you to a U-Drew. And here's Roy getting back to me. Sorry, John, but I did not send it. It's gone to all my friends. Hope it doesn't cause any problems. Well, now, it will cause problems because it not only will it slow your computer down, it, if you're not running a virus checker some kind, then it's going to corrupt your hard drive. The, and the only way to get round it, if you're quick enough, is to do a factory reset. Now, a lot of people go, oh, don't know how to do that. That means you've got to take your laptop, computer, tablet, whatever. You're going to have to take it into somewhere like PC World or somewhere like that to have them fix it. If this happens to you and you can get back, come back to me and I'll show you on your particular computer how to repair it 
uh, but I don't charge. I do it for free. You've seen where my YouTube is. I'm actually I'm going to put my page up now so you can get it. There we go. On Facebook, you'll find me under Love It Promotions. It's me, John Lovett, and you'll find my number for Facebook. It's up here. It's Facebook forward slash John dot Lovett dot five two four. I'll help you sort your sort your computer out, but only if you live on the Isle of Thanet. I can't help anybody outside that area. I can only say to you, you know, um, I'm sorry, but if your if your laptop's gone that far, or your computer's gone that far, or your, or your tablet's gone that far, you need a trip to PC World or somewhere like that, and it's going to cost you money. But if you if you can text me, I'll try and help you via messaging or or a phone message. But uh, I can't guarantee I can teach you how to do it over the internet. What I will be doing is making some more videos on how to cure the problem for a particular laptop, computer, tablet, whatever. That I will be teaching. So if you get the problem, watch my YouTube. You'll see there. Are. That's my UK Super Rascal. That's what I'm called on YouTube. I might be able to help you. Can't guarantee it, but if I can help you, I'll help you. So as you can see, Roy's getting the blame for this virus getting onto people's computers, right? So, but it's not Roy sending it. Please don't blame Roy Brown because it is not him sending it. Now you're going to go, okay, you've put on there and how to fix it. Well, I can't guarantee this is going to fix it, but it's going to sure sort out a lot of problems. It's a bit of free software, ain't going to cost you anything. You can download it. And where's it gone? Who's moved it? Here it is. It's called tweaking.com. Now I'll open it up. I don't know how long this is going to go. Uh, open Windows Repair. This is only for Windows. This is not for any other system. I'm just going to put this window out the way. No, I won't. I'll leave it here. Just wait for tweaking.com to come on. Now, you, this is a free download. I'll put the link in the uh, show more button under the video. If you look down there, there's a button that says show more. If you click the show more button, um, I was checking to see what's corrupt. On my, This is the first thing it will do. It's checking to see all the needed files are on the program folder and they haven't been corrupted. So it's going to take its time to do that. This is a brilliant piece of software. Very easy to follow, very easy to do. I'm going to give you the link. And if you get any, if you want any help with this software and how to use it, how to implement it, something you don't understand, message me, personal message me on, on Facebook. Or you can send me an email. And my email address is how to free at yahoo.co.uk if i can help you i'll help you right now then where are we uh this is version there's a new version uh, available but i'm not going to download this for the minute so that it's even telling me i need to up to date update this one so there you go this is tweak tweaking and the first thing it tells you to do is a pop proper power reset and I, I recommend this piece of software. It is so brilliant. Follow it through, read it through, to go click on step one, then click on step two, read about step two before you do anything. Then and, and three, do the same, read everything before you step on. Step four, read it all first. There's not a lot to read to understand. And step five, it tells you all about registries and things like that, what to do, how to do it. But as I say, if you get stuck, just give me a shout, personal message me or email. I'm going to shut this now because I don't need it. But there's a quick glimpse of the software that you need. The link will be underneath the video. And we went on, myself and Roy. What did I say? He's put loads why. Right. If you do get this pop up on your 
system and you do click on the buttons just like I did earlier but did not download or go any further than that page if you actually went further and that virus is now on your computer what it does is it looks at all the list of all your friends and it and it'll pass it on and it's it's a pain it's a worm right what they call a worm okay I've, I've written okay but you need to let all your friends know to let them all know I've said in the previous message and what you do is you go onto news feeds set it to most recent and if you, you don't know how to do that where's new feed news feeds how do I get to news feeds in Facebook to get to my friends to make sure they all get a message you click on the home button up here see the home button that's the home button click on the home button you're now into news feeds that's what the home button does over here you see news feeds now the next thing to do is click on these three dots just here next to news feeds click on that and click most recent okay and that will open up the most recent window now where it, type your message in here saying uh sorry it was not me that sent this uh or whatever um and uh, please you know see this see this video that i'm showing uh that i'm making now and um you know uh this will explain why why it wasn't me that sending it it's a hacker a piece of software on facebook where somebody's hacked into my system and i didn't know about it it's not me sending it but that's how you get to news feeds most recent so that's what you do to get out of it i had a good chat with roy and cleared everything up he then went on to show me his band squeeze gut alley if you want to have a look at roy singing with his band i done a video free shout it's on my timeline go and have a look if you get that type of message please do not click on the link